Hey, what's up y'all? It's me, C. Tree Brand. It's back with another video. And in today's video, I want to discuss the dark feminine and a little bit about your Lilith placement. I end up getting a lot of personal messages and emails about that. People wanting me to go more in depth about the experience of the dark feminine within the collective and how that manifests in your natal chart as the Lilith placement. For those of you who may be novices in astrology, you may only know about the planets and how they act in the natal chart. A lot of astrologers only talk about Chiron as being an important asteroid in the natal chart, but that's just not true. There is thousands and thousands of asteroids. Chiron is not the only asteroid that has an effect on our lives. There is the divine feminine asteroids and Lilith is one of those asteroids. A lot of people are curious about Lilith, but there's not a lot of information that you can find on your Lilith placement on Google or on the internet or even in books. So I am here to help you guys out with that because I've had a personal experience and activation with my Lilith in my natal chart recently with some planets aspecting my Lilith. And it's really sent me through this kind of initiation of really understanding what Lilith is and most importantly, understanding what her needs are. So in understanding Lilith in the natal chart, we will be able to understand the dark feminine archetype as a whole and how it plays out on the world stage. Lilith represents the dark side of the moon. So Lilith is pretty much like the darker sister of the Cancerian archetype. So we know that the Cancerian archetype is all about nurturing, taking care of others. What happens when a feminine energy is being forced to give and give and give and nurture and nurture and nurture and her needs are going unmet. That creates a very, very dark shadow. And that dark shadow is manifest as the Lilith archetype, okay? So the Lilith archetype is pretty much the fed up divine feminine. She's tired of being your mother. She's tired of washing your clothes. She's tired of cooking for you. She's just tired in general. And the reason why she's tired is because she is not getting her own needs met, right? So that manifests as a very dark shadow within the collective and within this archetype to where this is the feminine energy and the side of the moon that lashes out, that is very snappy. And she's ready to come after you because her needs are not being fulfilled. That basically is the manifestation of Lilith. But this archetype gets embedded very deep within our unconscious mind and she stays there until she is acknowledged and until she is dealt with. So what happens is Lilith a lot of the time is our dark feminine energy that is so ignored, so stepped on, and so belittled and disrespected that she just lashes out on everyone around her and nobody really knows what the problem is or why they're so angry and upset. We all know this experience and we all experience it on some level because it is a part of our shared experience. Now, when we deal with Lilith, because her personal needs have been ignored and she hasn't been getting the nurturance and the calm and the peace that she so deeply craves, she lashes out. Sometimes she can be very messy. Um, she's just very unsatisfied. She needs to speak up about what her needs are and she needs to look at her shadow to understand why she's lashing out, why her needs aren't getting met. And she needs to do what it is that she needs to do to meet her needs and to satisfy herself so that she doesn't have this intense craving for power in that area of life, okay? So you're gonna wanna look at where Lilith is positioned in your natal chart to know what area of life this energy may be sabotaging because Lilith is the energy of sabotage. She sabotages from an unconscious state, meaning that nine times out of 10, she's not even aware that her needs are going unmet in that area. And she may not be aware that she's even sabotaging things in that area because Lilith deals with di very deep aspects of the unconscious mind. So the more unconscious that you are as a person, meaning like the less spiritually aware that you are, that's the less aware you're going to be of your Lilith and how she is projecting because Lilith does a lot of projecting um, in 
situations depending upon what house she's placed in she does a lot of projecting there because she's not realizing that it's her emotional needs that are going unmet and that's the reason why she's so upset right so with lilith you have to turn the mirror back in on yourself and see and ask yourself what is it that you need from me what do i need to provide for you so that you aren't so cranky so that you aren't so ready to fly off the handle so you're not so ready to attack people because lilith can attack people um, and it's just based upon the frustration that she feels from being ignored from her needs being ignored but it is our responsibility to satisfy our unconscious needs it doesn't fall on other people but a lot of the times lilith can project onto other people um, because of her unconsciousness so because we are unconscious in that area we project kind of our issues and our problems onto others instead of looking at ourselves and seeing what is it that i need to do to fulfill this desire to fulfill this need now when speaking to masculine energies and masculine archetypes and how masculine energy experiences their lilith in their chart because i know a lot of people want to know that so for masculine energies or male identified people how you experience lilith in the natal chart is you experience her as the dark feminine in other feminine energies or in other women okay so this is how you experience the dark feminine so if you have you know a lot of oppositions or squares to lilith in your chart you probably shy away from dark feminines you probably are annoyed by them turned off by them or you may even be scared of them there is a lot of men who are afraid of lilith um she can terrify men like terrify them and so a lot of them may stay away from that aspect of themselves um, because they don't want to deal with the chaos because Lilith is a chaos energy. And some of them cannot handle the pressure, so they try to stay as far away from this energy as possible, right? Because they're afraid of being devoured by this energy. When you do have an opposition or a square to Lilith in the natal chart, it's actually not a good thing to run from this energy or... Um, to be afraid of it or to ignore this energy because that actually is a representation of the dark feminine that lies within you but it's something that you reject and you don't look at as being a part of your consciousness and so you reject that part and then that part of you goes unhealed so you can really work with the lilith archetype in women to help to heal the dark feminine within yourself and your unconscious needs and desires that may be going unmet because a lot of the times these relationships that we have with people, and I say this all the time, relationships are mirrors, okay? So a lot of the times our unintegrated energy shows up in other people to reflect back to us what's missing within ourselves. It's important that just because you are a man or you are a male identified person, that you just don't ignore your dark feminine. We all have a dark feminine within us that needs to be integrated because it represents our deepest emotional needs and the deeper emotional needs that we have that may not be getting fed or taken care of and it can manifest in your life as sabotage okay either by women outside of you or even by yourself and when you have sextiles and trines to lilith in your chart this can manifest as um you being very accepting of the dark feminine energy and you understanding her purpose and you understanding that she's divine um lilith is just as much divine as all the other goddesses you know what i mean she is just the one that is willing and able to speak up about the mistreatment and to speak up about the lost parts and the lost parts of the soul it becomes this all devouring very toxic energy that stunts our progress in life and it can stop us from moving forward so it's very important that it be acknowledged now what's the best thing for you to do the the best thing for you to do is to show nurturing and caring energy to this to your dark feminine you need to show nurturing and patience okay the dark feminine needs patience and understanding because she exists for a reason and most of the time dark feminine energy is premortal, meaning that it exists before the conscious worlds even existed right the unconscious comes before the conscious 
So this is an ancient energy. This is an elder energy and it needs to be respected. And you can start to cultivate this relationship by understanding your Lilith, understanding your trines to Lilith, your um, oppositions to Lilith, and understand where she needs to be integrated, where she may be being ignored, and understand where she resides in your natal chart, what house and what sign, and understand what needs to be healed there so that there can stop being this insatiable negative charge in that area of your life that's stopping you from progress and growth because that's exactly what can happen with Lilith can stop us from progressing. So I just wanted to do a short video on this just to make you guys aware. Make sure you're studying your Lilith placement. Let me know if you guys want more asteroid breakdowns on my channel. Yeah, anyways, leave your comments down below of what your experience is with Lilith, where she may be placed in your chart, and what your two senses about this series. Okay, take care.